Good morning, home buyers. When you're looking at a home that's for sale, what's the first thing you look at? Is it the schools? Is it the kitchen? The bedrooms? The backyard? The first thing I look at when I go to a home is the sweet spot. The sweet spot is going to tell me how well the home is aging. Think of shopping for a home the way you would shop for a used car. In a weekend, you might look at half a dozen cars that are between three and 10 years old. After a while, you realize the car's condition can vary a great deal depending on how well the previous owner treat and, and nature treated the car. When we are looking at homes, the age range is usually between 10 and 75 years old there could be a great disparity in the home's condition by maintenance and location. The main three items that age a home are moisture, sunlight, and termites. Moisture is especially important to consider. Moisture is an especially dangerous foe in the Silicon Valley because most of the properties are built on foundations that are in clay soil are built. Most of the properties are built in soil with a very high clay content. What that means is that when it rains and we get most of our rain in only three or four months, the soil gets very, very heavy and it swells and contrasts. It swells and contracts. In the other months, it slowly dries out and contracts. It swells and it expands. The other months, it gradually dries out and it contracts. It might even um, um, It might even uh, dissolve or crumble a little bit. This can put a lot of wear on a home. Sunlight or too much of it can damage a home by slowly warping or cracking the wood, especially in the roof eaves. Now termites are too small to see with the naked eye, but every seven years they can reproduce enough to destroy the wood or stone foundation. To, to, they can reproduce enough in every seven years to eat away the wood or stone in the, in the property. When I first enter a home, I look for a, the spot where the three issues, water, sun, and termite, may leave clues of deferred maintenance. When I first enter a home, I look for the spot where all three issues, water, sun, and termites, may leave clues of deferred maintenance. Picture in your mind how the typical home looks from the street. Usually it's very rectangular. However, the weight of the garage on the soil is often a lot lighter than the weight of the rest of the foundation. As I begin my visit to the house, I walk to the backyard, and I look at the exterior walls of the rooms behind the garage. Because of the difference of weight of the garage floor and the house foundation, this will usually be the first area to give an indication of any foundation cracks. After I've looked down, I look up and see if the roof eaves are splitting or if the gutters are not hanging even, or if the gutters are hanging evenly. After that, I'll walk throughout the house looking for other signs of deferred maintenance, and then I'll check out the kitchen and the bedroom and all the other cool features that the home has to offer you. Regard regardless of what we do or do not see during our walkthrough, it's critical to thoroughly review the property inspection and pest control inspection. There is no such thing as a perfect home. We are just searching for the home that is going to give you the most enjoyment and equity.
the answer to every real estate question is go ask the expert. If you have a question about the schools, go to the school district. If you have a question about your loan, ask your lender. If you have a question about the roof, ask a licensed roofer. Following these simple steps will help you find a home that will give you happiness and security for years to come. When you are ready to make a home purchase, call me at 408-898-0186. Joseph Colgan, Coldwell Banker.